Hello guys, I'm James and welcome to Top Sellers Unanonymous. I'm smiling because after the last show, Waffle went and bought the studio. Waffle's my boss now. So, that's all we're going to say about that. And my contract doesn't end for the next 10 years, so I work for Waffle now. Unless any of y'all could please get some money and buy the studio from him. Success in the kitchen! Five must-reads in five days. Waffle's done it again. This animal has turned out five top sellers in five days. It came out today. I did read a little bit of the book. I had to. He's my boss now. So, yeah, how insulting is that? I mean, I mean, it's a... We believe only the best for our boss. Five must reason day. How the hell? Okay, but now Waffle, we have Waffle. He's he's uh, with us from Moscow, New Zealand. There's no such place as what Mo Moscow, New <laughs> Moscow, New Zealand. There's no such place as Moscow, New Zealand. <laughs> he made that up. He made that. Come on, guys. He's 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 he's. Oh, he oh. He's building his own town, Moscow, New Zealand, y'all. Five must reads. His title of his book is Success in the Kitchen. How you doing, Mr. Waffle? Good. Yes, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. You can't terminate my contract without a very large severance free. You're stuck with me. Even though I'm stuck with you, too. But anyways, let's continue. Tack in Chalk, Burma. One. Don't you believe a woman guiding the house to be an archaic concept? Well, Proverbs is a very good book in the Bible. It was written, written by one of the richest people in recorded history. Yeah, Job was, Job was mentioning that too. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Much less, the, oh, the, yeah, the last chapter. You know, some people wouldn't want to read the last chapter. Yes, there are 31 chapters in Proverbs. Oh, oh, so he's, oh, okay, 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 Tag, he's not talking about just, like, the lady cleaning everything and stuff like that, he's actually talking about, he says in this book, um, you like our working relationship now? He, oh, he, he's running the place, so we have a great relationship now, oh yes, so what he is trying to say in this book is that the lady guiding the house inside of Proverbs is not a lady cleaning up after people and just doing work. So he's saying that success in the kitchen doesn't necessarily mean that the lady's just cleaning up behind you, you know, you know, you're just, you're the husband and she's just cleaning up behind you and the kids and doing all that stuff. He's saying that her guiding the house is an arcade because actually it's a, a beautiful thing. And regardless if I believe that or not, he's the boss, and so I'm gonna say it's a beautiful thing for the lady to be in that, at, the lady to be able to guide that. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I no, Oh, I didn't think that thing like that. Yes, he was saying that it'd be uh, okay if she had a job because guiding, you don't have to be. Oh, oh, he's also talking about <laughs> how rich do you think these people are gonna be? A man's gonna be rich enough for his wife to have. Maid servants and people like that? Maids and butlers? Oh, apparently, guys, he's expecting y'all to be rich. Husbands, he's expecting y'all to be doing what the dude in Proverbs is doing, too. Sitting in the gates talking to people. So in order for your wife to guide the house, she's got to have something to guide. Oh. And apparently... Well, well, some ladies like shopping for their kids' clothes. Yeah, I'm certain their maids go with them, too, if they want to. Well, two, Lentz in Thurgan, Germany. I think a man can do whatever he wants to do. Isn't that a... Is that a question? Is that a question? Do you even have a reply to that? <laughs> Stop bringing up the Garden of Eden. <laughs> no, no, no. Many men love their wives. and They're not... They're going to love... Yes, love, love their wives like Christ. Love the church. People don't. Why do this? We're still unbiased, folks, but you know, since he owns the channel, I have to be nice to his opinion. No, yeah, yeah, Mr. Germany, he says that no one really can do... What do you mean no one can do? 
Hey, I thought, I thought, you know, we had, you know, free will. We can do whatever we want to do. What do you have the law of sin and death for? You know, I want to hear about the law of sin and death. What's wrong with you? Hey, 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 I can do whatever I want to do. What? Stop bringing up the family. <laughs> he, no one's gonna, some people are concerned about what their family thinks when they do things. Oh, okay. He's saying that we're more connected than other people, than we want, than we want to think we are. Let's continue before I start getting letters. He wrote the book, guys. Write him, his publisher. Um, three, Jilib and Degber, Ethiopia. Are you going to do a marriage seminar? What do you mean no one would come? Oh, yeah, yeah. Not everyone speaks elephant. He says, no, he doesn't, because not everyone will speak elephant. A marriage seminar. Oh, well, I, and elephants do live quite a long time. I guess they would have some some things to say to help uh, human beings. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Well, if you just if you just use the Bible and Proverbs, I guess that would take care of that, right? And, oh, in the New Testament as well. Okay, number four, Ivana from Madison, Alabama, United States of America. Are you going to write a subsequent book on men? Some people don't want to read the Bible lawful. Are you telling them they need to read the Bible? Some people don't want to read it. No, 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 it's no. Yes, I understand. No, it's not lack of understanding. Some people. Waffle says, don't be afraid of the Bible. It's not, it's not as bad as, <laughs> it's not, <laughs> Waffle says it's not as bad as you think it is. So, so, okay. Some people haven't read the Bible. Ah. Oh, okay. Okay. So, for <laughs> Okay, okay. He's not. He's saying there's that. He's talking about that small, select group of people who know about the Bible and don't have anything to do with it. He's not talking about you if you don't know about the Bible. You, you just weren't privy to it. He's just saying. So, Miss Ivana, if you don't want to read the Bible, uh, then I guess he's got a problem with you. But if you do, he doesn't. So, anyway. So, so that's so that's the, okay. 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 Some people. Okay. All right. Um, number five, final, final question. Mark from Washington, District of Columbia, United States of America. What plans do you have for the future? Well, I did not know elephants cook. Mm. Really? Oh, that's neat. Okay, 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 okay. He says he's gonna write another book. It's called Cooking Up Trouble. And apparently Waffle knows how to do it with all his opinions and stuff like that. How are we all supposed to get along when everybody has all these different opinions? Oh, grow up. So now he's telling me to grow up. Okay, boss. I love you too. Goodbye. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. And uh, that's it. Bye.